Really? Look at that. That's beautiful. The fly I'm tying today is a uh, CDC Peacock Mayfly Emerger pattern. Uh, it is being tied to match the flies that were here in the video earlier, uh, earlier on. Um, and uh, what I do is I, I take film footage and then bring it back, um, look at it, and make my adjustments to my flies at home. It's a great technique to use. I recommend that that you either bring a sample. It's a good way to understand the flies and all the Latin names can be really confusing. The different varieties, I mean I think there must be 15 different varieties that are all called blue and olives for instance. Anyway, um, this fly is tied with a brown peacock curl. It's a dyed, uh, dyed peacock curl. Um, it is a deadly fly tying material. All the uh, flies made with peacock curl tend to be very attractive to the trout and tough to pass up. So I'm using that as an adaptation to this fly. Uh, it's an emerger stage, although I do use a lot of CDC. The idea behind that is that it's low riding in the water. Uh, more flies are taken, not as full-fledged duns, but as emergers, nymphs, and uh, they're just uh, cripples, etc. Uh, they're easier for the fish to take, and, uh, but your observations on the water could affect um, at what stage the mayfly you use and what pattern. I will say this, um, if you do have a blueing olive hatch going on, um, be patient, try this pattern out, make sure your size is correct. Uh, these could be tied all the way down to a size 26, but give it a chance. In many cases it's just uh, because of the numbers of flies on the water, um, it could be your uh, presentation or your time between casts. Take your time between casts and uh, You'll have some luck. Don't be so eager to switch the flies. Give this one a shot. So anyway, I hope you enjoy the pattern, and uh, thank you for watching.